everyone, how's it going? Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Um, before I get started to the painting, a few things I want to say. Um, if you happen to be uh, a subscriber on Juno's YouTube channel, you would have seen my latest video where um, I showed you guys that I had a small accident um, while walking Juno two days ago. Um, I took a fall and rolled my ankle pretty bad. Um, so I've been pretty much sitting on a couch or in bed for the last two days. Um, it's getting better. I didn't break anything or rip any ligaments. Thank goodness for that. Um, but needless to say, I think the bottom of my ankle is about, I don't know, this fat and it's all changing all beautiful colors and shades of blue, purple, and black. Um, but it hurts like a, you know what? Um, so I've been kind of trying my best to keep the art going, trying my best to work on all the wood pieces. Um, but I'm just, please be patient with me. Um, I can't be on my feet too long. Um, last night I tried to resin a couple of sea turtles and I think after about 45 minutes, I was done and had to sit down. Um, so please be patient with me. Um, for those of you who have reached out um, to see if I'm okay, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Um, it's getting better and better by the day. Um, still hurts. I can't really walk too much. I've got my crutch here. Um, so it is what it is. It could have been worse. I think my lucky stars, it's not worse. Um, but yeah, it's kind of nice to be waited on hand and foot for a change as opposed to me doing everything for everybody. Um, but yeah, so just be patient with me. I'm doing my best. If I can work on everything sitting down, I am. But if it means standing up and doing things, um, I can't be on my feet too long. So that, that's that. Um, I wanted to show you guys the um, results from my last piece. Um, it's almost dry, just has a little bit wet here in the center, but the rest of it is dry and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And I cannot wait to put um, two coats of the Liquitex High Gloss. Now I have High Gloss, usually I use Liquitex gloss varnish, um, but I now have high gloss varnish, so I'm excited to use that. So I will be doing that on this piece, and I'm also very happy and pleased to say that the piece has sold. So thank you so much for the um, lovely lady who purchased the piece. I really appreciate it. Um, and one more thing I wanted to say. Um, I wanted to say a hello to Adriana Rose Smith. Hi, Adriana. Um, she is an adorable little four-year-old who um, I got a message from her mother the other day and she sent me a video of Adriana sitting at a table doing some acrylic pouring. And it is the cutest thing you've ever seen. She's sitting there talking to herself and doing what she's doing. And then she pours her colors on and then she bends over to blow and she puts her hand like this, which is what I do. Um, and she starts blowing on the piece of paper and then she says, okay, I'm going to bring you guys down for a close up. And then she read, um, you guys, it's the cutest thing in the world, melts my heart. Um, so I asked permission from Adriana's mom if I could put the video it in one of these videos. So she said, absolutely. So stay tuned to the end of this video and you guys will see this adorable little girl um, paint pouring. So it's the cutest thing ever. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, let's see, my wood guy is uh, on his way to bring me my next order of wood cutouts. Um, I'm very excited. There's all kinds of new pieces, you know, the, the giraffe. Um, giraffe, monkey, uh, trying to think, anywho. Um, but I did order a few new pieces. Um, there's a betta fish, butterfly, owl. Um, I got a wolf. Um, he's standing on a rock and he's howling at the, at, like up in the air. So I've got a wolf coming. And then I had two special requests. Um, someone had asked me to do a map of Upper Michigan. So I've got that wood cut out coming as well. And then I got asked to do a Boston Red Sox logo. So the big B for Boston Red Sox, so that's coming as well. So, you know, the cutouts are not just animal cutouts. You can get whatever you want done. Shoot me an email um, and let me know if you're interested in a particular piece. 
um, a logo, um, initials. I can do it. I can get my wood guy to do anything. And you can either get it raw and unfinished and I'll send it to you so that you can make whatever you want on it or paint it however you wish. Or I can paint it for you and you do a commission piece. So it's up to you. Let me know if you guys have any special requests or you want to commission a piece from me or just order a blank wood cutout. Um, you can do so through me. Just email me at canelasaraco at gmail.com. Or if you want some wood rounds as well, um, all my pieces are MDF wood and they are five eighths of an inch thick. So they're pretty thick. Um, let me see if I have one here. Yeah, here you go. So um, they're very thick. They're not thin. Um, so they are very, very good and they do not warp. Um, you know, when I put all my resin on them. So if you're interested in any of those pieces, let me know. Okay, so that's it for that. I'm gonna bring you guys down on the canvas, but I'm gonna go have a seat for a little bit and then I'll be back, um, rest up my foot and I'll be back. Okay, be right back. All right, guys, I am back. Um, I'm working on a 10 by 20 inch canvas. Um, I am using the Bloom Technique recipe. Um, if you want to know all about that recipe, there is a full, full tutorial in full detail, video number 131. I will link it here at the top. You can check it out. Um, so I'm not going to go into details of what the mixtures are in the bottles because you can find that in video 131. Um, I've already gone ahead and laid down my white house paint. Now, please remember, I do not use house paint in my Dutch pours. I only use house paint in my bloom techniques, okay? Um, I do not use house paint at any other point in time. So I'm just gonna pop the bubbles real quick. Again, you can find all that info in video. I hit the button. The button that keeps it going. Um, video number 131. All right, so what I've gone and done is I've taken my bloom colors. Oh, got some turquoise there. I have, um, I believe this is metallic cobalt blue. This is 24 karat gold. I have a, I uh, believe this is aqua green. I have Theo Violet by um, Grumbacher, I think. Yes. And then um, blue green by Academy. Uh, that's Artist Loft. That's Deco Art. And this one was uh, Artist Loft. So what I've done is I've taken my primary elements. Um, I've done this before in another video, uh, video, oh gosh, I don't remember now off the top of my head, but again, I will link it here at the top for you to find it very easily. Just click on the little I, you know, little information button. And so what I've done is I have taken my blue green, put it in this little cup here and added a little water to make it more fluid because for the bloom recipe, the paints are very, very thick and we need them to be fluid for a Dutch pour. And then what I've gone and done is added Meridian Blue. Yep, Meridian Blue primary elements to here, to this, just to mix it up and add a nice color to it. So I have that followed by the Theo Violet. And what I've added to that is Interference Violet. So that is from the Bling It series from Color Art as well. So I've added that in my Theo Violet. And then with the Aqua Green, I've added Mermaid Scales. That is the color I've added to that one, which is a nice, pretty, you know, turquoisey light color. And then I have the 24 karat gold, which I have added Interference Gold to that as well. So give that a little stir. And then finally, the metallic cobalt blue, and I've added interference blue to that. So I've added those to all my mixtures here, added a little water, as I mentioned, and I am going to see what happens. I have my cell activator uh, as well. Now, when I do this kind of technique, I don't expect to see much, if not any cells, which is fine. My main goal here is to see the beautiful shimmer and ear interference um, pigments that show up um, with the color art pigments. Now, if you want to purchase anything off the color art website, 
you can save 20% off the entire website if you just use code CANELA120. That's all lowercase, one word, CANELA120, 20% off the entire website. All right, so let's get started here. Uh, I was gonna start with this color first and we shall see what uh, ends up coming up with this. And when this is all dry, um, it's going to get a beautiful coat of uh, crystal resin. Uh, now that I have the crystal resin and lots of it, I am going to be resining a lot more of my smaller pieces um, because let's just face it, resin is just so much nicer. Actually, it's a preference. Some people don't like resin. Um, I like it. I think it's great. It really, especially for this um, with the... Um, color art pigments, the primary elements in that, it really brings out the shimmer and the sparkle with uh, resin, much more so than uh, varnish. All right, okay, let's keep moving here. So when I took that tumble the other day, it was like 8.30 in the morning. Luckily, I was walking with my neighbor and uh, Valentina and uh, Boy, I tell you, when I went down, I went down like a ton of bricks and oh boy, was I ever crying like a little 10 year old. It hurt so bad. And uh, Juno, poor Juno, he got so upset. He was like trying to jump on me. He was trying to lick my face. He was clearly upset, um, but he wasn't helping when he was jumping on me and I was dying of pain. But um, poor little guy. So I had my phone on me. I had to call my husband and I said, come and get me with the car. And he, luckily I wasn't too far from home and he came and got me. <laughs> oh, what a day that was. What a day. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of cell activator here and hope for the best. All right. Wow, these colors are gonna be beautiful and it's sinking already. All right, let's uh, blow this out. So as I said, not aiming for any cells here at all. Um, even though I did add the cell activator in there, there's a few popping up here. My goal is when I'm looking here on an angle, all you see is shimmer and interference. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So this is completely different than your typical Dutch pour. Um, it's not flowy, it's not soft. Um, there's no cells or anything like that with the exception of over here. That's not my goal here. My goal is to just blow out the colors and then when this dries, you will see the most beautiful shimmering colors you've ever seen. So I'm just gonna fix up a few spots. Okay. So pretty. Actually, I wonder what happens if I torch this. All right, got some spots that came out there. I cannot wait to see this dry. And with a coat of resin on it. Wow. Oh, you'll, you'll see when I bring you guys down for a close up, you'll see exactly what I see. Okay, I will bring you guys down for a close up. Be right back. All right, guys, here it is. I will show you guys a close up with my white lights on, my studio lights, and then I will turn them off and just do um, just regular lighting and you'll see the difference. But I just wanted to do both angles or both views so that you can see the difference. Look at that. That's really neat. But I'm loving this corner. Oh, I love this corner. It is so pretty. 
All right, so let me turn off the lights. Look at that. That's so neat. Let me turn off the lights and I'll be right back. Okay, check it out. Look at this. I am so loving this. Look at how much it just shimmers. And I tell you, once resin goes on this, look at that. Look, look, look. Oh, wow. Once resin goes on this, I tell you guys, it is going to be amazing. Look at that. Look at the shimmer in here. Oh man, I can't wait till this is dry, till it has a coat of resin. And then I show you guys the final result out in the sun sunshine where you can just see it. If is, anyone is interested in this piece, um, feel free to email me, canelaseraco at gmail.com. Look at that. And uh, claim it before somebody else does. Look, I love this stuff. I'm, I love the interference micas um, by Color Art. They are so amazing. Just look at that. I'm loving this. I can't wait to put resin on it. So that is it, guys. Uh, if you're interested, you know what to do. It is a 10 by 20 inch canvas. Um, check out all the information you need to know listed in the description below. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Um, and that's it. Uh, anyone who wants to donate to my channel, you can do so using the PayPal link below. Um, check out my Amazon links, US, Canada, and UK. Um, you can shop products there. And that's it. Check out Juno's channel. Um, and I think that's all I have to say. Once I get my wood cutouts, um, I will show you guys everything. I can't wait to show you guys all the new cutouts. And uh, stay tuned for the last clip here of uh, little cute Adriana. Okay, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye. What colors are you using? Brown and gold with black and orange cobalt. Wait, wait, I forgot this one. And where did you learn this from? I already told you, Canela Swaco. So, guys, uh, Put it where I want to put it.